HR Basics is a series of short courses designed to highlight what you need to know about a particular human resource management topic. In today's HR Basics, we explore employee training and development, discussing the importance of learning in organizations to improve individual, team, and organizational performance. Learning involves acquiring knowledge and developing skills. Employees acquire knowledge through formal and informal training activities and development experiences. At a basic level, learning, which includes training and development, is needed to ensure that workers recruited and selected are able to do their jobs well and that they will be prepared for future jobs in the organization. People learn best in various ways. Learning styles indicate the most effective methods of instruction for various types of learners. When developing training content and delivery methods, recognizing these differences enhances the effectiveness of training. Three distinct learning styles are visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. Visual learners like to see things, while auditory learners simply learn better by listening, and kinesthetic learners best acquire new skills and knowledge by doing something. Although everyone learns in all styles, each person usually has a dominant learning style. A study of 5,300 participants identified the following breakdown among the learning styles, which are believed to be representative of the general population. 29% of individuals are visual learners, while 34% are auditory and 37% are kinesthetic. Although each person normally has one dominant learning style, each of us can learn in all three ways. A small number of people learn just as easily using any of the three styles. Trainers should recognize the various styles and present material to stimulate all three. Training is the development and delivery of information that people will use on the job, whereas development refers to experiences that make people better. The distinction between training and those non-training activities is an important one. Mainly, the process for developing training is substantially different from that of non-training activities. Training is the systematic process of providing employees with the competencies, the knowledge, skills, and abilities required to do their jobs. Often, when people are asked to assume a trainer role, they begin with an image of training based on how they've been taught in the past. In most instances, the image in their minds is closely related to how they were taught as children in school. But there are some significant differences between children and adults as learners. It's important to understand these differences so that you can gear your training to the needs of your adult audience. When children learn, they rely on others to decide what's important to be learned. They accept the information being presented at face value. They expect what they are learning to be useful in their long-term future, and they have little or no experience upon which to draw. In addition, they have little ability to serve as knowledgeable resources for the teacher or classmates. In contrast, when adults learn, they decide for themselves what is important to be learned. They need to verify the information based on their beliefs and experiences. They expect what they are learning to be immediately useful, and they have much past experience upon which to draw. In addition, they have a significant ability to serve as knowledgeable resources to the trainer and other learners. The difference between children and adults as learners points to the need to follow specific principles when training adults. Focus on real-world problems. Emphasize how learning can be applied. Relate learning to the goals of the learner and relate the learning to past experiences of the learner. Allow debate and challenge ideas. Listen to and respect the opinions of others and encourage learners to be a resource to you as the trainer and to each other. It's important to know and understand the most basic training tool used by professional trainers. It's called the ADDI model. The ADDI model is a generic, systematic, step-by-step -step framework that trainers use to develop great training. In the first phase, analysis, needs and objectives are established. In the design phase, learning objectives, session structure, resources, all are identified. During the development phase, content for the training session is completed. The implementation phase involves the preparation and delivery of training content, and the evaluation phase is ongoing and ensures that all stated goals of the learning process will meet specified needs. 
Employee development is almost universally recognized as a strategic tool for the organization's continuing growth, productivity, and ability to retain valuable employees. Development prepares employees to take on additional responsibilities in different jobs, usually at a higher level. Many companies, recognizing the strategic importance of learning, strive to become learning organizations. A learning organization embraces a culture of lifelong learning, enabling all employees to acquire and share knowledge. Training processes are carefully scrutinized and aligned with company goals. Managers take an active role in identifying training needs and helping to ensure that employees use training in their work. Also, employees are actively encouraged to share knowledge with colleagues and with other work groups. In a learning organization, training is seen as part of a system designed to develop people. An organizational university, commonly referred to as a corporate university, is a model of delivery for organizational learning. To gain the advantages of centralized training, many companies use the corporate university or organizational university model. Organizational universities are internal organizational entities designed to brand and execute training and development initiatives that foster a culture of learning. A corporate university can help make learning more strategic by providing a clear mission and vision for learning and ensure that it's aligned with business needs. It can also help organizations who have a strong business culture and values ensure that they are emphasized in the learning curriculum. This occurs through providing consistent training activities, disseminating best learning practices, effectively using technology, and establishing partnerships to develop custom training and degree programs. Organizational universities provide value to employee learning and development by creating an identifiable and attractive brand for learning and development, bringing a common culture, loyalty, and belonging to the organization, providing a clear identity for learning, training, and development initiatives, and being a powerful vehicle to organize training. Organizational universities are a growing trend in corporations. Experts estimate that more than 2,000 organizational universities exist in the United States. The number of organizational universities is growing. Currently, 29% of organizations are establishing a corporate university or planning to do so. 95% of employees indicate a greater interest and connection with learning through an organizational university. The organizational university phenomenon is an important tool to help HR strategically manage talent. Organizational development encourages people to accomplish better organizational performance. Organizational development is a planned effort managed by leadership and supported by employees to increase employee engagement and organizational effectiveness through planned change in processes and systems. Organizational development seeks to improve organizational effectiveness, align employee behavior with organizational goals, maximize employee contributions to organizational success, and promote a strong organizational culture as well as create positive change. The term intervention is often used in organizational development. Interventions are structured engagements used individually or collectively to improve performance. Every action that influences organizational performance should be called an intervention. Executed successfully, organizational development maximizes employees' potential and aligns their behavior with organizational strategy. Organizational development assesses needs and creates purposeful, meaningful change for the better. Providing the appropriate learning and development opportunities for employees will increase their satisfaction and help them perform at a higher level, better enabling the company to achieve its goals.